Hey guys, what's up? Multi PS Gamer here again, and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. I have I haven't done one of these in so long. I don't I think it's been like a month. Um, I have no excuses, guys. I don't want to make any excuses. I just I haven't done any. Uh, I've been trying to make other content. My M my M Creator tutorials at the time right now are probably the most popular on my channel so I'm just like why not continue them people really like them they like asking questions they like making their own mods with Minecraft so why not help them uh, this video is actually like a two-part video well, it's not two parts but it has two parts inside the video the first part is me answering your questions and uh, sort of giving you a shout out because you're gonna see your comment on screen of some of the comments that I've gotten um, about like what's wrong I'm going to try to answer them in as much detail as possible. Um, and then the second part. Um, so, the first question, all the questions will appear on the screen, uh, is from Fortune XYZ Pokemon. He says, hi anybody, anyone, help me please. I got an error message after I created the block. Failure build failed with an exception. What went wrong? Yada yada, a lot of information. My question to you is, what event do you have in your block? Like, with Endersand, um, if I go to Edit Element, I'm guessing you have some kind of event. Like, I do. When the uh, when you right-click on the block, it explodes. Um, what, what event do you have and what do you have it set to? Because you could have, if it's exploding... Uh, you could have switched some of these around and maybe you messed with the conditions. Oops, sorry. Conditions and when it happens. This stuff is very confusing. I recommend you don't really mess around with this. Uh, it's just in all cases, it'll do what you want it to do. But basically, if you want it to explode, all you gotta do is go to the power. It says 4F. You just wanna put it maybe... Whatever that number is. I just typed a lot of numbers. Uh, we'll do it at power of 8. Because why not? Um, that's basically how strong the explosion is. But you don't... If you want to mess around with these, this is where the coordinates are going to be. Where the like explosion happens. If you just wanted it to explode anywhere, all you got to do is just go to the power and change it. Um, you just have to put a number. You don't have to have to ask for anything. Uh, if you wanted to shoot an arrow, all you have to do, well, it's pretty simple, all you just got to do is power of arrow. Just change the number. That's really high. Um, you want it to deal damage, hearts damage, how much damage you want it to deal, it's pretty easy. Strike lightning. Uh, all you got to do is change the... I don't think you have to change any of the coordinates, actually. Yeah, just click add event and it will add the event. Um, it's it's It can be confusing, but it's it's not hard. Um, but yeah, if, whenever you guys have a question about a, a certain item or a block or a weapon or something you do with the armor and it has an event that you created with it, please have that detailed in your comment, like, cause some of you guys are asking me, what did I do wrong? I was like, I don't know, what kind of event do you have and what, what kind of, what, what are you making? Uh, are you making a, a, a sword or a block or some kind of armor? You guys gotta put that down below because I don't really know what you guys are asking. It's like something went wrong. Can you can you help me with this? I can if you tell me what kind of event. If you guys aren't adding an event, it could be with uh, the basic properties. It's not. It, it, I don't think it's gonna be with the properties. Uh, it, it's mostly with the events. Um, so that's 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 one question. Uh, another question from Andrew Park. How do you export or actually download the mod? I'm using a Mac. Well, my friend, I do not have Mac or I don't know anything. I do not know really anything about Mac or any kind of Apple computer. Uh, but basically, if you're wanting to export your mod so you can play it or give it to other people, all you got to do is uh, there's like three little buttons up here. Uh, this is to test your mod in like a, a single player world. This is to test it in like a server, like if it will load up with the server, or the mod in the server, if it loads up fine. And then to the right, it's to export your mod, which is basically downloading, or yeah, just downloading it to your, um, your desktop. All you gotta do is go ahead and click that. Uh, I, you probably should have a desktop. Keep it as a zip file. 
then name it whatever you want to make or whatever mod it is. So we're going to name it Ender Sand. And then you're going to want to hit save. It's going to bring up mod details. Basically, this is just what the mod name is. So you can't put any... Um, uh, I, I, I think I typed it Ender Stand. I'm not really sure with the other thing. But it, you can't put any spaces. Uh, version, if you have different versions. So like... I'm going to use Superheroes Unlimited version 4.1.2, just as an example. Um, but really, you don't have to change the version. That's if you want to, but you don't have to change it. A description, what you want it to say in your mod uh, screen in Minecraft. So, like, this is my first, not fist, first mod. I can type. There you go. And then author, whatever your name is. Mine's multi PS Streamer or Sam or or, or Stark because I am Tony Stark. Just kidding. Um, I'm not Tony Stark, but I'm, I'm Iron Man. Uh, mod image. You don't really have to worry about a mod image. It's not really going to do anything or affect your game. Um, file extension. Keep that as a dot .zip. You could have it in a dot .jar. Um, but that just makes it a little bit more difficult to open and change some textures around if you wanted to. Um, select mods to export. So if you just have one mod that you want to export, just hit recompile export. If you have multiple mods, you're going to want to hit check mark that and then you hit recompile export. Uh, and then you'll get a choice of selecting which mods you want to export. Or you can select all or you can select none. Um, but basically that's, that's, that's how you export or download mod. The next question is by, I apologize if you if I get your name wrong, uh, Bako Nak, something like that. Uh, yeah, I don't, sorry. Can you make a tutorial on how to import sound? And how can we play the sound in the mod? That'd be fantastic. Yes, my problem is I couldn't see the so if the sound was imported or not. And even when I know the sound that the sound have been imported when I try to use it for my item it said unknown sound event mm, that's a tough question for me because I don't really mess with sounds I haven't actually done a sound um, or imported a sound but it seems that you can import a custom sound here so do you have any sounds like hmm, hold on let me go in my documents or my computer and go to my downloads and just go to all files and let this load and be very slow because I have a lot of downloads. Um, I could see if I can get a file to show to you or show to you show you. Okay, so it loaded up and I have a couple MP3 files uh, that I could choose from. We're going to do the repulsor sound effect for Iron Man. Um, now, this is just a test. I don't exactly know how to do it. But sound file is this sound name. So when you go to your items, and I'll explain it in a minute. But if um, sound name, so examples mod.godzilla.roar. So we'll do mod. Iron Man dot repulsor. Don't use any spaces. Um, and when you go to choose your category, ooh, I think I don't. You should just use master. I'm pretty sure um, it wouldn't matter, but just in case, use master. Um, and let me go. That's the word there. <clears throat> so if I go to next, living sound. Let's see if we can find it. It's under mod. I named it mod. There's a lot of mobs. Uh, blah, blah, blah. There it is, it's all at the bottom. So, mod, Iron Man, Repulsor. Test, next, next. 
hopefully this works. Hopefully, we hope for the best. Um, and then you'll go ahead and recompile it. Um, don't worry about that. That's from derp. I'll fix. I just tested it on derp, and derp's not working. Who oh, knew? Hopefully, it works for me. Hopefully, it works. Hopefully. Uh oh. This is scary. Okay, that's normal. All right. Well, let me go ahead and test derp real quick. Let me go ahead and start loading up a test environment. Um, but I'll, I'm going to go ahead and answer some more questions. Second question, or not second question, the next question. It's by the Red Dragon. How do you import uh, a texture? Well, my friend, it's not that hard. you got to go to his tools. And if you want to import a armor, are you meaning like an armor texture? This is what I'm talking about with details, guys. Are you talking about like an, are you talking about an armor texture or an item texture or some kind of tool texture there's 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 lots of textures like if you know what I'm talking about like that you can uh, that you can import if you're talking about an armor texture all you got to do is go to here um, I, I do have a website in the description go ahead and check that out you can download the texture but all you have to do is have the same texture file or you can have multiples it could say one and two just make sure it's it fits and it's not gonna overlap each other um, but I have some armor textures, Iron Man 1, see this I'm talking about with the mark, or the 1 and 2, so there we go, that, all you have to do is hit OK, and then I will import the texture. Talking about a tool, um, or an item. It's not. It's not that hard. All you gotta do is go to your item, make whatever you want. So we'll name it. Hello. Um, item texture. All you gotta do is click on it, and it says import item texture. Click OK. Make sure it's 16 by 16. So, hmm. We'll have it the the me. Um, and then you can choose if you want it to be a block texture or an item texture. We'll still have it as a block texture because why not? I don't actually know what this picture is, so um, I think it's gotta be 16 by 16. I'm not like, yeah, it's, I don't, yeah, I don't know. But uh, that that's here. I'll I'll do a uh, I'll, a do we? I'll do a actual texture that I used. Uh, I gotta find a folder. Put this in here. Um. Um, it's somewhere. Oh boy. Okay, where is it? Ah, oh, it's, it's in here. Textures for mod. All right, so we want an arrow. Go ahead and do that in an item, and that's basically how you load in a texture. You see the arrow. That that's how you load in a, a texture for an item. Uh, but yeah, that that's how you do a texture. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find questions I haven't answered. Uh, oh, Sam Gaming. Hey, Sam is my name too. Uh, cool. Awesome, man. Um, let's, see. let's see. If you guys still have any questions, and, I, and I've already answered your question, but I haven't given you enough detail, go ahead and comment down below again. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, okay. Here's a question by Alexander Christo. I apologize, guys, if I'm saying your name wrong. Or what, your last name or first name. Uh, I, I, I apologize. Adam G. Um, but his question is, how do you make a door-shaped portal to a dimension? Well, I don't exactly know how to do that. I don't, I don't really know how to make a, a, a dimension. I don't know if this guy's gonna make any sounds. Sort of. Uh, yeah, I think we should. I think we should. Um, but yeah, th that th to answer the guy's question, that is how you create or uh, import some kind of sound. Um, that derp was messed up. That's why it was making the sound. But that's basically how you make a or import some kind of sound. 
Okay. Questions. Um, bada bum, bada bum, bada dun, da da dun. So dimensions. Uh, yeah, that's that's about all the questions I've gotten besides repeating questions. Uh, some some questions. If I if I don't actually respond to your question, I apologize, guys. That's because for some reason I can't. It doesn't even give me the button to reply. I apologize. I do read your comments and I do try to answer them to the best ability that I can. Um, but some of your questions in more detail. Otherwise, I don't know what to say. Uh, that's about it of this video. I think I'm going to cut out the part where I said, yeah. But yeah. Um, hope everybody has a great day. Make sure you guys stick around for the latest M Creator tutorials that I make. Um, Actually, comment down below if you have any questions. Make sure they're detailed. And yeah, I think that was, that's about it. So, I hope everybody has a great day. I'll talk to you guys later.